It has been nearly four years since I made my original Raspberry Pi Minecraft server video. I figure it's about time to update it since a few things have changed. So let's get started. First, go to the Raspberry Pi website and download the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. Once it's done downloading, we'll run the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. Select Raspberry Pi OS and the SD card that you've connected to your computer. Click right and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, disconnect and reconnect the SD card from your computer. Then open the SD card in File Explorer. Create a new text document, name it SSH, and remove the file name extension. Now you can disconnect the SD card and plug it into your Pi. Connect the Ethernet and power cables and let it start up. Now we'll use Advanced IP Scanner to find the Pi's IP address. Just hit Scan and wait until you see something that says Raspberry Pi Foundation. Take note of the IP address. Open PuTTY and type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Click Open. Now when prompted for a username, type in Pi and then Raspberry for the password. The first command we'll run is sudo raspi-config. Once we've run that, it will open a menu. We'll go into system options, then password, and change the password for the Pi user. Next, we'll go back into system options, then host name, and change the host name to whatever you would like the server to be named. Then again, system options, boot slash auto login, and we want to set it to auto login text only console. Next, we want to go to Performance Options, then GPU Memory, and then set this to 16. Under Advanced Options next, we want to expand the file system. Once this is complete, select Finish and reboot the Raspberry Pi. Give it some time and then reconnect via SSH again like we did before. Now we'll run sudo app-get update. Once we're done running updates, we'll use sudo app-get install netatalk screen and avahi daemon. Now we'll confirm that screen installed properly by running screen space dash list. This should return no sockets found. Next, we'll make a directory named Minecraft and we'll move into that directory with the command on the screen. Now that we're in the Minecraft directory, we'll use the wget tool to download the build tools jar file. Next, we'll run java space dash jar space build tools dot jar. I intentionally left out java in the installation earlier because people regularly ran into this. Just install Java with sudo apt install default dash JDK and then run the build tools command again. For reference, running this command took about 16 minutes. Next, we'll attempt to start the server. However, it cannot start at this point as we'll have to edit a file first. Now we will run nano space eula.txt. Change where it says false to true. Then hit control and O and control and X to save and exit nano. Run the Java command again to actually start the server. It will take a while to generate everything. Once it's done, stop the server by typing stop and hitting enter. Next, we'll run this command to create a script to start the server for us. Now that we're back in Nano, paste this into the file and then press Ctrl and O and Ctrl and X to save and quit. 
Now, to make sure that this script can be run, we're going to run chmod plus x minecraft.sh. Next, we're going to run a few performance improvements. We'll use nano to edit spigot.yml and we'll go down the view distance and change it to five. Press control and O and control and X to save and quit. Then we'll edit server.properties with nano. We'll do the same thing again and save and quit. Now, to make sure the server starts every time the Raspberry Pi reboots, we're going to run sudo nano slash etsy slash rc.local. Add this into the file and then press control and O and control and X to save and quit. Finally, we can run period slash minecraft.sh to start the server inside of a screen session. Confirm that the Minecraft screen is running by running screen space dash list. You can then go into this screen session by running screen space dash r space Minecraft. Now that you've confirmed that the server is in fact running, you can connect to the server with the IP address and have fun playing with a few friends. If you have any questions, leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer them in a follow-up Q&A video in a week or two. Thank you for watching.